Well, Juan, go ahead and tell me what you're doing uh, here. Today, I'm, I, we did uh, soil sampling uh, of our rec fields. And what it is, we take uh, soil samples. We may take several uh, several spots, maybe up to 20 spots, and collect a four to six inch piece of, of soil. Uh, we mix it in a clean bucket, and then we put it inside a bag that is shipped off to the uh, Texas, uh, Texas Cooperative Extension Service or even your home depot centers, uh, any of your lawn service centers like that will have a form and you fill it all out. You put all your information on your bag and uh, you mix these soils in there and they'll tell you um, after a few weeks or maybe a few days, depending on the which where you send it to, they'll send you back a complete form telling you what you're lacking or what might be um, an improvement on your turf, whether, and it also depends on what kind of turf you have. If you have, like here we have sports turf, so it's a Bermuda hybrid, a Tiffway uh, sports tiff. And, you know, we do have some problems because we have some irrigation issues uh, and we have, but we also have some dry spots where maybe uh, the soil is not as, as uh, or the soil profile is not as deep or it's not um, uh, as fertile as it needs to be. So we'll be adding uh, some uh, some top dressing and, and some other additives. Plus we'll also be incorporating all that with uh, an aeration process that you'll be seeing at, at a later date. So the dark green and the light green indicates that there's some issues with irrigation. It, it could be irrigation more than likely because we have, uh, we're sitting on top of a limestone plateau uh, and in this country that limestone is not very deep six to twelve inches is probably all the soil you're going to get if you're lucky here uh, on the Edwards Plateau which is east of 35 in the hill country but you may all, we may also have some irrigation issues which we can tell by we're having a green spot here and then a, a little drier spot here um, and we're also losing some uh, because the wind blows through sportsplex quite frequently uh, we also lose a lot of eva uh, to evaporation a lot of moisture to evaporation and being on a commercial schedule where we can only water twice a week that's very important to us so that's why we're doing this to to make sure it's not a fertilization or a soil issue plus um, you know we also want to make sure our irrigation is is uh, we're going to get the most out of it uh, since we only get to run it twice a week so but we're not doing bad considering it's the last of august uh, or the last of the summer end of going into august and we're still a little green um, you know we got some brown patches here and there but nothing that cannot be uh, resolved but it's something that a homeowner should really pay attention to in their lawn because they could be overwatering or they could be underwatering or they may have other issues concerning insects like uh, beetle larva uh, or even uh, lurf, turf diseases called uh, you know like brown patch or something like that because they're overwatering too much and uh, like I said the Bermuda here that likes it dry doesn't like a lot of water um, and, and it's a good uh, drought resistant um, type of turf it's not pretty like St. Augustine but it requires less maintenance and like I said, if you lose your irrigation for some reason or you can't get to water it, it just goes dormant, turns brown. Uh, it's not very pretty, but as soon as it comes back, um, it'll turn green just like that. And then like I said, or we may have a water line break here. That may be the other concern that we that we may have. We may have an underground water break and that's why it's darker here than, than uh, than the, the rest of the fields but uh you know th that's what you, you got to look for and, and you do it not only at the at the, our level where we're uh, doing it for rec fields and, and sports fields but you need to do it at the house because that again adds up to money uh and to natural resource conservation with water and and uh, you know what what uh, what you're using as far as drinking water, potable water